for that question. I hope you enjoy the programs that we do. And I thank you very much for your support. Our second member to post on the Ask Yesha 14 thread um, is a ma another master, J master JTF -er with over 1200 posts, Zachor Vekavod. Zachor Vekavod, you ask excellent questions on uh, Chaim and Pesach's weekly Ask JTF programs, and it's a pleasure, it's a privilege, I should say, to have you and other and people like Ruby Stars ask questions on, on, on this forum, to have you as a member of our of our forum. So thank you very much, Zachor Vakavod, who writes, and I quote, Shalom Yesha. Thank you for your thought-filled answer to my last question. I was wondering what people in England thought, think about Pat Condal and Melanie Phillips. My own viewpoint is that I like what Pat Condal says about Islam and multiculturalism, but I do not agree with his atheism. Melanie Th Phillips, on the other hand, seems to me to be right on the mark. All these two people discussed uh, are these two people discussed much, and what are people saying about them? Thanks, Zachor Vekavod. Great question, Zachor Vekavod. Um, I have to say, I have never heard of Pat Condal. I don't know who um, he is. I have absolutely no idea who he is. I'm, I'm really sorry. I really I apologize that I don't have enough information to be able to tell you anything about Pat Condal. Um, what I can say to you is I've read Melanie Phillips' Uh, some of the articles of Melanie Phil that Melanie Phillips has published. She is one of the main contributors to a magazine, a, a, a center-right magazine called The Spectator magazine, which is not quite conservative or Republican, but it's sort of leaning in that direction, certainly. Um, she, I've heard her on the radio as well. She's been a regular contributor to a, a BBC radio program, and uh, she's, she's um, I think she's a columnist for one, for I think the Daily Mail, I think. Um, so she is very much uh, on in the newspapers and magazines, uh, on the radio, writing on her website. She has a very, you know, website with, with all her articles and comments, and she's, she's always speaking. Uh, she's got a book called Lan Londonistan, I think it's called, a few years ago. Um, she's more on the... Um, she she isn't establishment, but she is a, the establishment use her. So if the establishment use her, um, I'm not entirely sure if we can be totally satisfied with her because of what the establishment represents. And if they would have her on, you know, that that they they work with her and she works with them, you know, they 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 don't give her a particularly tough time, but she isn't so prominent in the media. She certainly appears from time to time, but she isn't very, very prominent. Um, she is speaked about. She she has she has been spoken when when she came up with the book Landanistan, she was spoken about, and pundits, uh, conservative leaning pundits, do mention her and, and think highly of her, especially with her very, very critical views of the damaging role of multiculturalism, multiculturalism in the UK and what it's come to. Um, she has spoken. She has said a lot of sense about. She has. She makes a lot of sense with her speaking, with her thoughts, and, and her writings um, on on multiculturalism and how this country is going to the drain with this multiculturalism and political correctness. She is certainly not terribly politically correct. On the other hand. Um, she's she 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 only criticizes islamic she she thinks it's only extremist muslims she doesn't realize that islam is the problem which she doesn't want to realize that islam is the problem she she uh, she really m talks more about uh, the extremist islam which I think is ridiculous thing islam is the problem so uh, she she does make she does make a lot of good uh, comments she's she's much more well than, uh, she is certainly um more i mean pro pro israel you know definitely if you think about everyone else who's who's in the media she would probably could be considered one of the more uh, pro israel figures with her with her views on israel and the middle east and the west 
and multiculturalism. So she does make a lot of good, good comments. And one can see one goes to MeloniePhillips.com and one can see she writes extensively about multiculturalism and the West and Britain. And, and she says a lot of important things. But uh, there are many issues where I think that we as a movement would disagree with her. Especially, I mean, I, I think that she's um, one of those who is who is in favour of a PLO Fatah Hamas terrorist state, although she would say, "Oh, if it's only controlled by certain people," and so she she thinks it's a difference between one group and another group, and 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 that w one group wants to uh, his goal is to destroy Israel within uh, uh, ten years, and another's is to destroy Israel within twenty years. You know, uh, so it's it's you know Fatah and Hamas. Uh, so, it's a mixed bag with Melanie Phillips, but uh, I hope I've answered your question uh, as much as uh, to it, to uh, that uh, that has addressed your question. I hope I've addressed your question. I want to thank both Ruby Stars and Zachor Vekavod, both of you, for coming to this thread and for asking questions. I really, really appreciate your input, your support, your help, your contribution to the program, to the forum, to the Jewish Task Force, for the world. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the program. <coughs> excuse me, this being the 15th program, the 14th, excuse me, the 14th program of Ask Yesha. And I hope the sound quality has been, has been uh, better. The next program, please God, will be on the first day of Hanukkah, the festival, Jewish festival of lights, which starts on Sunday evening the 21st of Kisle, uh, 21st of December Kislev the 24th 5769 um, so it's the first Hanukkah candle is lit on Sunday evening so I hope our program will be on the Sunday and it will be uploaded and it will be on the website on the Tuesday I'm very pleased that this time I managed actually I was putting off doing the program today I said maybe I'll do it tomorrow because I have things to do but uh, there's a lot of people who have things to do, but you need to do. You have to commit yourself and do things uh, to schedule, to time. So, fine. Thank you very much for giving me your time. And until next week, all the very best to all of you listening. Until then, shalom.